Mostly clear tonight. Overnight lows around 50, give or take. On Friday, mostly sunny. Highs will be in the mid-60s. That's the latest from the WZZQ Weather Center. I'm Paul Foster. 64 out there right now. I got some drizzle. And, uh, of course, Charles is in here. It's Thursday morning. Charles, you didn't bring the umbrella, did you? No, I did bring the oh, umbrella. Bring it's, the, yeah, it's pretty nasty out there. Charles, this Charles is the guy that brings the umbrella, but yet when he leaves... I leave the umbrella. He leaves the umbrella, right. so we have to chase him to the That's parking right. line and say, hey, Every week. aren't you missing something? That's, right. That's exactly right. So, Need it this morning, though. I said, it's going to ask you out there. It's going to clear up a little it's bit. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you, man. Thanks yeah. for, thanks yeah, for having us. We've got me. some distinguished guests in the studio with us as well. It's good to see Coach Mike Furry back with us. And uh, I was there for that great, shall I call it a reintroduction of Coach Furry? I think we can call it that. I, I can't believe that we're actually saying that, that we're sitting here with, with Mike Furry again. I never thought we'd get to say that, that we're well, back in studio I, I remember with when, Mike when, Furry. When, when Coach Coach left, and I, I was I was pretty di disappointed about that because uh, he and I did a show every Monday and uh, during football season, and we had, a, we had a great show. He brought his own peanut butter sandwich. Isn't that right, Coach? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I told him you had protein, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Get yeah. to the weight room. But yeah. anyway, we had such a good time, and then he, he left... He left us to go to Chicago. Got out there on the loop, I guess. Yeah. You got out on the loop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the loop. And then, uh, and th that interesting story, uh, Coach Serino here, Mike Serino, VP of Athletics here at Limestone. And I loved your story, Coach, when you did the introduction several weeks ago. And and you you talked about that conversation. I'm going to let you run in there with us, too. Uh, when you introduced him about, you know, when you were working on a replacement in the football head coach's position, and you reached out to, uh, I don't want to steal your thunder, but you reached out to some of your friends, and Coach Furry was one of them. Yeah, it's, it's important that, to understand Limestone's on a football journey, you know, and uh, and these things don't happen overnight. And uh, it's been a progress, kind of what we do in the community, how we build the staff, how we recruit, even our growth into the conference. And so when we were at a crossroads again, why wouldn't I go out to a, a friend, an advisor, um, uh, a great football person and just say help us let me know where I should be going let me know what this should look like and um, you got you know, surprised didn't you yeah it was uh, it's it's a wonderful opportunity uh, our student athletes are the big winners our community gets to enjoy this and the truth is it's great to see them at all every day so uh, tell the listeners about that conversation well it's just that you know it when you're in those kind of situations you have to have guys you can lean on you know people you can trust and um, and to, to be able to reach out to him and just say, where should we go? And he said, hey, you know, there, there's a lot of things this could look like, but maybe we should finish what we started. And uh, that, that was a pretty exciting moment. And to have a leadership like Dr. Parker, to understand, to sit down and say, okay, where do we want to go? What do we want this to look like? What do we want this to look like on our campus? What do we want the student athlete experience to look like? Where do we want to compete? You know, do we want to play football or do we want to compete in football? There's a big difference. You, and, uh, uh, so we're had, pretty excited about you it. Had some, you had some moving parts that you guys were already working on mm -hmm. before you made that call. Yeah, there's there's no doubt. There's a, there's a lot of pieces to this. And you watch it. I mean, what is there, 10 NFL head coaching jobs open right now? So it's always a very fluid market. But to uh, to end up with Coach Furry back as our leader is is special. But to, put, to see the staff he's put together is really the exciting part. And uh, I think that's – listening to what he's done – and the opportunities and the leadership in place for our student athletes right now is really going to be the fun part of this off season and going into the next year. So, uh, Coach Furry, you you got that call, and um, you must have been thinking in the back of your mind you you might like to come back to Gaffney. I've been thinking about that for about four years. So just uh, just happened to get that call to make a reality. A little warmer down here too. It's always uh, a <laughs> that's that's always been in the back of my mind for four years also. You know the weather's obviously uh, a lot different down here. But when you were uh, when you were introduced and you you took the podium uh, during that introduction or after the introduction, uh, you even made reference to to your children who wanted to come back. Yeah, you know we we uh, obviously as you guys all know we're we're of a really close family and a lot of our decisions don't happen individually. There it's it's a it's a, a group decision and uh, you know my kids are old enough now to understand uh, that. Uh, they're kind of part of that decision making. They're they're old enough. It used to be where hey, we're, this is where we're going. We're leaving. You guys, here's your new school. Pack. Get ready. But when you have a 17 year old daughter and your two boys are getting ready to enter high school, you know your decision and those factors are are things that you have to start taking into consideration now because of their future. And uh, 
And so, um, you know, one of the things that we've always talked about over the last couple of years really is, you know, where would you want dad to do? You know, what do you want? Wh where do you want dad to coach? You want dad to coach in the NFL? Do you want him to coach in college? And, you know, at this point in time, you know, all the kids were, were uh, missing, you know, being around every day, being in the facility, being around the locker room. Uh, my daughter was just here last week, and, I mean, she was on the field the whole entire time while she was visiting, just taking pictures and getting to know the guys and having fun. And that's kind of really how they grew up, you know, before Chicago. That's how they, it's, that's been their whole life. Yeah. And so, you know, the interaction with the players and the guys coming over to the house and sure. or going out to dinner with the guys and doing all those things, you know, that, that, that – there's opportunities are there in the NFL. There's just not as much as there is in college. And I think our guy, my guys have, you know, my kids have really missed that. My wife has missed that with those relationships. And, um, you know, so when we sat down and obviously this became reality and, and you know, really the, the, an opportunity to really think about what's best for us and what we really wanted as a family, you know, as a whole, it was uh, follow kind of re really what we all wanted to do. And that was Limestone University. So you took a vote? I wouldn't say we took a vote. Uh, I would say we took a, we, we we took their ideas, you know, their opinions. You you poll you polled them. I didn't poll them. I, I think they pushed me. You know, I think they pushed me. To be honest with you, I'm glad because, they did. I'm glad they did. That, yeah, I mean, when you think about it, I mean, obviously you're in the National Football League. Yeah. You know, you're we've been around that for 12, 13, 14 years of our life, and it's the best of the best. I mean, you're, you're doing things, you're traveling the world. Like we, you know, I've been to London, I've been to Italy, I've been doing things because of national football league. I mean, you do sure. things that, that, uh, that everybody dreams about doing, but you know, when you, when you have the opportunity to become a head football coach at a university that has the resources, has the support from, from coach Serino and obviously president Parker and everybody else that's here. I mean, I walked through, uh, you know, the president's of building yesterday and you're walking down through Curtis and you're seeing everybody just fly out of their offices in excitement. And, and it's not so much excitement to just, you know, give you things. I think it's more of just the, all the excitement, the fact that they can be involved in our program and they can give you and, and provide that support. And so when you have all those resources and you have that situation and it's a win-win, I mean, it, and it's, it's not really hard to, you know, to pull people into that decision. You know, it really was just... Do you leave the National Football League and go to Limestone University? And my family's decision on that as a whole is yes. Charles, uh, you know the buzz that it created on campus when this announcement came. Yeah, yeah. I think the press conference, by the time it came around, it was, it was the worst kept secret on, on campus. But uh, uh, yeah, you could feel the excitement. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I had not seen Coach Furry until the day that we had the press conference. And uh, so we're sitting in there at the Heinz and Riggins Center and setting up. And I'm standing in the doorway. And I think Coach Serino and I had spoke for a moment. And I'm standing there. and. Mike Furry walks up beside me, and it, and to be real honest with you, it's like this. My old friend had never left. It, it sure. seemed like that's the way things were supposed to be. Uh, but you were there. You saw the crowd. You saw I me mean, standing room only uh, in that room that seats uh, you know, hundreds of people. Uh, the excitement level about Coach Furry and, and what he was doing here, and, and I, I think you said it perfectly. Um, finish what we started because uh, boy, it was it was pretty exciting there for a couple of years. What I gotta say is. The excitement was certainly with the people in that room, but I saw a lot of excitement from Coach Furry. I mean, when he took the podium and when he was being introduced by Coach Serena, he's grinning from ear to ear. And then he gets up there with all the energetic excitement, like, man, I am so glad to be back here because, yeah, we want to finish some things. Well, I, and I think that we're, we're continuing. Finish means you're done. You know, you're trying to get something. <laughs> well, you want to continue. Let's say that. You I want think, to continue what I you started. Think, yeah, we, we want to continue to build what we started, not finish what we started. We want to continue to build what we started. And uh, as you know now, and Coach Serino and I were pretty competitive, uh, highly visionary guys. And when we have those kind of things, that's something that him and I have in common. And I would tell you the 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 visit probably when we when I came down here and visited with coach Serino uh you know a couple weeks prior to the decision you know that that same vision and that same energy and that same excitement was coming from president Parker and so uh why how could you not be excited about that you know the opportunity to be able to come down and build something with these guys with their support uh having all the resources that we have the facilities that we have the the the, the, the campus that we have the setting the whole nine yards I mean it's it's perfect you know now there's a lot of work that we have to get done but it's I mean I, I can't tell you how excited we are that we're back uh, it's exciting every day uh, it seems to get more and more excited uh, coach furry coming in as head coach is an exciting thing 
uh, but seeing his vision and, and Coach Serino's vision and, and Dr. Parker's vision kind of intersect at one time, um, the future's pretty bright. Yeah, Coach Parker was with us, what, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. And, and he shared that with us as well, and, and he's a buzz. He's like you, uh, Mike Serino, he's, he's really a buzz about all this because, you know, having, uh, I guess this is kind of the next step, taking the next step. You test the waters with the spring game, and I think that's exciting. We're going to be out there with the tailgate show, Charles, and, you know, uh, talk to a lot of folks out there prior to the game, and the community comes out. The community already supports you very much in your athletic uh, events that you have out there, and this will be more exciting. Yeah, I, I think it, it's an opportunity to share the campus with the community and let our students enjoy certain events on campus. So this is going to be an exciting day. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be, be on it'll Sunday be, too. Yes, it'll be it'll be like a spring festival on campus. To let us enjoy our new staff and see how hard our football team's working. But give us an idea of maybe where we're going in the future. Um, there have been some tremendous the, the tremendous changes on our campus, and um, you know even the recruiting days will start in the new Heinz Reagan Center. But we got the right leadership on the board, the right leadership at the president, and it's it's really making all the difference. It makes our an AD's job gets a lot easier when there's some pretty good coaches in place. Well, the truth is when you have the right vision from the board and the president, too, it makes an AD's job a lot easier. And, and, and it's tough. People don't realize how tough it is sitting behind your desk. There, there's a lot of things that you have to deal with, and then you have this void, and you, you want to make sure that it's filled in the right position. Obviously, your job became a whole lot easier when Coach Furry said, hey, I'd like to come back. Yeah. And, and I think that the fun part about all this is it's really student-athlete-centered. At his best, he's a teacher, he's a leader of young men, and uh, just watching the body language and, and watching the young men blossom here in the spring, it's, it's going to be fun. It's Talk about fun. your team, Coach. You're, you're out there. You've, you've already been out spring practice, seen some of the photos that Charles has put up out there, and that's exciting. It is. You know, the, the, the excitement has been uh, awesome, you know, and, uh, but it's our job as a staff and as a, as a team now to continue that excitement and that energy as we continue to move forward. Everybody, it's like a game. You know, everybody comes out in the first quarter and is excited and out of control and it's chaotic and they're violent the whole nine yards. You know, the energy level is just, you know, obviously really high. It's the, you know, how, what, what are you like in the fourth quarter? You know, and so we're in the middle of spring now. Uh, everything's been very, very productive. The excitement, the energy, the attention to detail has been phenomenal. Uh, kids understand the structure of our program now. Um, obviously, we've all talked about the staff uh, that we have. And, and you've assembled some great assistant coaches. I've, I've assembled a bunch of great men with high character that can teach. You, you tap the NFL. And, and uh, oh, you know, some people are getting, you know, they're scared to hire guys from the NFL, you know. And I knew there would be some of those guys out there. And to have four or five of those guys on our staff is, is pretty awesome for our kids, you know. When you think about, you know, it's funny because when everybody talks about the team, you, you got to remember it's about the, it's about the players, it's about the kids, sure. you know, and so uh, we've been very, very fortunate over the last couple of weeks uh, through the vetting of, you know, it's like you were talking about Mike in regards to the head job. It's, you know, we, Mike and I have talked about this. When you hire a head coach, you, you can't miss. And I was telling Mike the other day, when we hire assistants, you can't miss. And so uh, I'm obviously very excited about the, the process that we took to the patience that we took in order to hire assistants. And Again, uh, I think we have the right guys in there for our players, and the players have responded, and we'll finish it out the rest of this week and next week, and obviously April 10th at 2 p.m. at The Rock. How's the uh, recruiting coming? You'll find out April 10th at The Rock. You know, <laughs> there's uh, there's going to be a lot of kids there that are excited. You know, when, again, and it goes back to recruiting and, and providing these guys with an opportunity to come and be mentored by guys that have played 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 years in the National Football League. And that are that are there to impact men, to grow men. You know, if you can find that somewhere else, then man, I, I'm I'm all in. I'll help you and I'll support you. But you know, we're going to end up with probably what 34 plus years of NFL playing experience. The more the majority of them are already coached either either in the NFL or at a high school level or at a college level. And so uh, to have those resources to be able to come play for those guys and get groomed uh, from a technical standpoint, you know, I, you know. If you can find somewhere better, then, I, like I said, I'll, I'll wish you the best of luck. But, obviously, uh, the recruiting has been awesome. The Twitter has been, you know, the response in the community. Um, just just when you walk into a Daddy Joe's here in Gaffney, <laughs> Gaffney, South Carolina, and it's just – you can just feel guys looking at you because they know, you know, you're, you're there. They know your staff. They know your presence. Uh, that, that's what it's about. You know, that's what it's about. And that's kind of really what's happened – throughout the state of South Carolina and into North Carolina in regards to our recruiting. 
and that that uh, response has been phenomenal. And uh, we'll get all those kids here April 10th and show them what we got. Charles, you uh, you, you work in, in marketing, of course, VP of marketing. And listen, uh, you obviously had some a lot of feedback once you put out this release about Coach Furry. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the response that day, it was a lot of fun for us because we kind of had it all locked and loaded. We knew what we were doing. Um, I've got a great staff. We put together a promotional uh, video that we did. We, we pulled all the old coach uh, photos of Coach Furry from his time at Limestone, from his time at Marshall, from his time in the NFL, and put it together. And yeah, social media, like so you talked about Google, Twitter, exploded. You Googled them, there were a couple of pictures. There were there. one or okay. two. Okay. One, so it had to be, one, one, okay. not have to dig very deep. You <laughs> have to find uh, you know, those, uh, the, those photos pretty easy. Hey, Coach, before, before we let you out of here, I, uh, you mentioned, of course, uh, the spring game on April 10th. I had the opportunity last Saturday to sit and see a little bit of the practice and you had huddled the guys up when it was over and, and talked about spring game. Uh, and one of the things you mentioned too is you said, I, I haven't gotten to meet a lot of your families. Yep. Uh, and your family becomes our family, they become Saints family. So that's important for you too, right? On April the 10th that uh, you've met these players, they, they understand the structure of your program. Uh, but you're meeting mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles for the first time and next week too. Yeah, I mean, and that, that all goes back to the, what, Almost six years ago, one of the first questions that, you know, Coach Serena and them asked me in our, in our first ever interview was, you know, where do you recruit? Well, you recruit locally. You know, you recruit where parents can drive up on the weekends and come to games. And uh, obviously this is a unique situation where, you know, this is that time of year where things happen and new coaches come in and all those kind of things. And there are going to be players, obviously, that you haven't met all their parents. And it's going to be not only uh, the players that we have on the roster now, but we also have – the 40 some young men that we've signed to NLIs or that has been signed to NLIs or, or have decided to come to Limestone that's going to be there for the first time also on April 10th at 2 p.m. And then obviously all the kids that, that we are recruiting now that are still 22s and 23s. And so we're building a family. We're building a, uh, uh, I, I'm not building the culture. The players will build the culture, but we're building a family of togetherness. And the biggest way and the best way to do that is to create respect between moms and dads and kind of, the kids, the players, the whole nine yards. And so that's why we're calling uh, April 10th at 2 p.m. It's the reunion at the Rock. Obviously, it's been blown out there in regards to all of our social media. But it's like an old Southern reunion where all your, maybe all the in-laws and, and the parents and all those things that you haven't seen for a while or we haven't met, we're all going to be there together on April 10th at 2, at, uh, 2 p.m. And we'll be able to hug it out, shake hands and have a festivity and in, in the you know the food trucks and the whole nine yards that we're going to have out there it's going to be a an absolute reunion um for dinner our on, entire on the ground charles what's that dinner on the ground dinner, dinner on the ground yeah and it, and yeah i mean you talk to the, the food trucks djs uh the bouncy houses the whole the whole nine yards the wzzq at? tailgate show oh, we'll be out there. uh we'll be out there we're gonna we're gonna get all these assistants that uh, coach mentioned we're gonna get try to get them on the air with us too uh, before the game starts. It's going to be a great time. Can't wait. It's free admission. Uh, and in the next little bit, we'll be putting out some details on parking uh, and those sorts of things. So uh, a pretty exciting time here in about a week and a half. Yeah, I tell you what, guys, it's great to see you. Coach, uh, you won't be a stranger because we'll be doing our show during the, the course of, of the season on Mondays. And uh, Coach Serena, great job. Great job by you as always. Always good to see you and uh, always working for the community and, of course, Limestone University. Uh, best interest, and I think we're going to see a lot of changes coming real soon to the positive way uh, in football, Charles. I yep. mean, this is one of the things that we were so excited about, you know. When and there's a out there on our hall in, in the on the wall, there's there's the poster that says "No more waiting." Yeah, remember that that's one? Right. No, that's an archive. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. And, and uh, it's exciting for football, and it's exciting as Coach Serena mentioned the student experience. Exactly uh, the, the student experience on to get up on Saturday and go to a game and get behind the team, all of our teams, all of our student athletes, all of our, our students on campus to get the opportunity to get behind this team and come together as one uh, on Saturdays in the fall. Uh, can't wait to see what transpires. Got more to come. We'll tell you about that. Remind you of that uh, big spring game coming up. It's so exciting. And uh, thanks for being here, Coach. Coach Furry and also uh, Coach Serena and Charles, always good to see you. Good to see you. All good right. See you. Fowler and Friends of the Morning on CCQ.